we human are the craftsmanship of God. When we realize it and understand that there is something different in us and we are only inclined to talk, walk and follow the path that is written by God and through his loved ones, especially that came to the world and his, they spoke the ways to live a life, a righteous life. Then we are transformed, spiritually transformed. Things of this world stop mattering to them at all. They do not matter about the things which is happening because they want to live a peaceful life and not be bothered. The words that they speak, the knowledge that they are getting through the scriptures has transformed them spiritually very differently so that they get disturbed when things of this world which by chance or just to keep people happy sometimes you tend to listen also but they disturb you be careful then because now you have become an instrument of God the words <coughs> that you speak everything that you want to say is different it is written in Luke 7 6 that out of the treasure of the heart of a righteous person only goodness comes the good thoughts come love come affection come lot of tolerance also comes but from the heart of the evil the treasure they have is evilness so in everything they will find evilness they will go to any extent to say evil do evil speak evil the words they say will be evil that could be very disturbing but be careful that you are not trapped into what they are wanting you to be trapped because they are not liking the people who are more inclined toward the righteousness of God they don't like it they want to disturb them so stay away from them there will be many evil people coming to your life for a long time they will behave very nicely and be very good with so much of evilness in their heart which they will reveal after a long time they will say things which will shock you do not give them a second chance on that because such evil people when they want to torture the righteous people of God then God comes in between and then the evil ones are so much frustrated by God that they do not know what to do they have shown their frustration by saying evil things and disturbing the peaceful coexistence between God and a good person so God is going to intervene then and frustrate them therefore it is written in the scripture again be mindful be mindful is try and understand what the other is saying they are provoking you so do not take everything they are speaking into your mind be careful either you stop the conversation or you tell them you are not interested and stay away because something wrong 
could be spoken as words from your mouth, that becomes a trap. As we feed our body so that right from the childhood, a child is born till the end of the times that a person lives, feeding is a must that gives energy to the body. In the same way, the mind also needs feeding. It depends on you. What you feed your mind with. If you are continuously feeding, feeding your mind with disturbances and bad things, evil ways, then the mind gets so polluted. Therefore, always feed your mind with good things, good scriptures, good values, good programs, good things of life. Meet good people, you'll always get something good to know, hear, understand, which is so important. And that has to be realized, what you feed your mind with. There are plenty of times in biblical narrations also, there had been very good people, but they got influenced by something which was not correct for them which was forbidden and then things did not happen good with them. We all have a story to write. We have a script ready of our life. But we have lost ourselves. We have to come back at a certain stage in life when people realize that they have to come back to themselves and write their story. Plenty of things which they have ignored about themselves will come back to them and they will realize that was wrong. I should not have done it. And then regret and not do it again. The story is there. The script is there. Make your life into a good script. With the today's times and the scenario. There are so many good things also on the social media also, on the book, books and writings also. It is your choice what you see, what you read, what you watch. If you are always chasing bad things, even on social media, if you are a free person, retired person or have plenty of time on, your, on yourself because you don't have anything to do, Feed yourself with something good. Why always keep chasing? Chasing people. Men chasing beautiful piece, uh, faces. Women chasing men. This is not correct. Be contented somewhere. Look at yourself. Come back to yourself. Change yourself. Change many things. There are so many things. People who are chasing always, they look so sick. Either they are chasing money, or they are chasing people, or they are chasing some bad news is going on, or they are chasing something which is so negative. Their faces show it. The disturbance. They are feeding wrong things. In the Bible also people have done it and they met with a very bad end. Come back to yourself. Suppose you want to go and see a very high position person, don't you prepare yourself? We prepare ourselves first, whom we are going to meet eventually is God. Till the last times also, if you have just the mobile on your hand or just watching something, watching, watching and watching things of this world, you are not connecting yourself to the ultimate, to the God whom you are going to face one day. After a certain age, after a certain time, 
stop chasing stop chasing anything that that is not correct everybody knows what is correct and what is not correct what is wrong and what is right a habit becomes if you cultivate a habit of chasing good knowledge good things then that attracts you and oh you want to learn things do things same but if you are attracted towards the negative sides of this world you will keep finding some way or the other to talk only about something unnecessarily which is not going to help you also and distract the other person also so stop it while it is time make your life worth it so that you can face god rather than make it so terrible many people i see they have nothing as but some faults something to say which is negative always you find so many people in your life who have been very negative to you unnecessarily they have hurt you unnecessarily they have been bad to you you know it you remember it you will never forget because that also taught you a lesson but see our is not god giving them a terrible time yes he does if you touch the person of god his hand is on him so he will always save the person but will make your life miserable do you want it that way or you want to be a happy life contented happy good life in which you have peace in yourself people come and distract your mind they want to take the peacefulness of your mind try not to feed your mind because then you tend to give a reply also don't do that but we do at times and then regret never ever let put a boundary wall between the negative thoughts and the positive do not let the negative thoughts of the others to come because then they will make a place in your mind and it is not going to be good for you this is all i read from the chapter of luke 6 and the wisdom of king solomon when you grow in age then slowly and slowly your children are grown up and they are doing their work and you have lived a life stop it somewhere stop chasing chasing the worldly things the worldly pleasures the worldly money nothing is ever going to give you peaceful time what your mind perceives is good things then there is a peacefulness inside of you always and people will find you peaceful because wherever you sit and talk your mouth will speak the word of god you will be the child of god through you the knowledge of god will come only to save the people who are still not understanding it a small lesson that i learned also while i was reading all these chapters they are very interesting do open the bible those who need to open it or any other scripture that speak about how to conduct your life learn from that it will help you make you stable and keep you peaceful and happy thank you so much for watching
This is Anita Vinipal from Musuri. Do like, subscribe, and share my channel. The name of the, my channel is Words of Wisdom Decoded by Anita Vinipal. Thank you, all of you, for your good comments and the way you are watching and liking it. God bless you all and good night.